got to be a knock you off your feet kiss. Yeah. And Stephanie tells me, she goes, go for it. I said, what? She goes, like, try to knock me off my feet. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so. Challenge! <laughs> so I'm like, I'm super fucking nervous. I'm in this weird outfit. And so I go to. Oh, yeah. Were you wearing, like, a fanny pack or some shit? I put like a fanny pack on. Pants? I had to put a fanny pack on. Yeah, I was. So I was wearing. It was hot. Very light sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> and I give her the first kiss, and then I pull Peter aside. I go, "We're gonna need to do a costume change." <laughs> he goes, "What?" And I go, "I need to put some underwear on." <laughs> I go, this "Stuff's happening." He goes, "What?" And he goes, "I go, I don't know what the fuck to tell you." Like, I'm, I'm spitting. Because, because. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> This, you yeah. must stay just like this. Does this look natural? We all should sit like this. What what you cooking today, Bird? Oh, is it fish? This is gonna be a long episode of Something's Burning. My two guests are my wives. Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> the only two women I've kissed in the past 20 years. <laughs> I hope Aww. at least we should talk about that kiss too. But go ahead, you. Can okay, let's open with the kiss. Should we? Stephanie Karchuba oh. and my wife Leanne Kreischer. Yeah. I'm already embarrassed. This I, is gonna be fantastic. This is this is so you know, you know the, I, it's it's probably the most asked about thing because I was so honest about it. I yeah. was so honest, and no one is like no one in this business is honest about it. Yep. But it is. I. I, I we're talking about Stephanie plays my wife in the movie The Machine. And Leanne came out for filming, and I don't read action in movie scripts. The action, I just, I just don't read. He just I, reads the dialogue. I just read the dialogue. Oh. So he only knows half of what's going on. Do you ever read other people's parts, or do you just go, ah, bullshit, really. bullshit, my part, no. bullshit, bullshit, so he'll my read, part? he'll read a scene, and then he'll go, uh, I don't understand what, something about the scene, and I'll go, did you not hear what the person said back to you in that scene? If I don't or, read other people's scenes at all, like, like I'll skip over, like, if I'm not in the scene, I'm like, dum, 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 dum. I'm shocked to hear you say that. Having oh. acted with you, I'm actually shocked to hear you say that because I would have never guessed. He's I, only concerned about him and his process. <laughs> Which, in some ways, if you Listen. think about being an actor, listening and responding honestly, is perfect because he has no idea what you're going to say. Well, that's true, actually. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what's coming. <laughs> I see your point. Yeah, it's, it's my process. Um, <laughs> and so Leanne <laughs> said to me, in the thing, which, when she came out to it, to fucking Serbia, she said, uh, she said, you know, you have a kissing scene tomorrow. And I was like, what? She goes, yeah, you have a kissing scene. I was like, no, I don't. And she goes, yeah. And I was like, wait, with who? She was like, <laughs> with who? With who? Who do you? Yeah, who do you think you're kissing? I, go, I have to kiss Stephanie. She's married too. And I was like, wait, I'm gonna cheat on you? And you're like, it's not cheating, it's <laughs> acting. And I was like, what? But okay. And then I was like, and then I was so fucking nervous. Cause I haven't, I haven't kissed anyone in like twenty fucking years. That's what you said. And and so he was a wreck. He was very, it was very endearing though, because you just, you were totally honest. You were like, I have never, and this is weird. And is this weird? I was like, yeah. I'm an actor. It's and not weird at all. Yeah, it was really weird for it was me. Weird. It was so weird. It was so so weird. And there's so many things that like I share on two bears that like people do not share. Like the 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 worst one. I mean. The, the, okay, the worst one was Andrew gets in the fucking van after we do pickups, after like the, the so there's one scene, I guess it's movies, you see, hopefully you've seen the movie. There's a scene where Mark and I are getting kidnapped and I have to give her a goodbye kiss. Uh -huh. and, and, and they're like, it needs to be like heartfelt, but just like, I'm le I'm, I may never see you again. Right. And so I go, okay. So I, I'm like looking at stuff like I don't. What am I doing? Like I don't, what am I? What kind of kiss is this supposed to be? And she's like, just like a, just like a, like you're saying goodbye to Leanne. And I went, okay, I know that one. So I do it. I do it a couple times. Do it a couple times. And I'm like, okay. I mean, but I am like my my heart's racing because I'm kissing a new person. Her lips are different than your lips. They're really soft. You have scissor lips. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Scissor lips. But but uh, oh my but, god. But the best part is we get in the car that, I don't, do you remember this? We get yeah. in the car, so we do the scene, and then they're like, hey, we want to, we got to pick up Mark's, uh, Mark's, um, whatchamacallit. And I was like, okay, I'm in different, I'm in a different outfit than the scene we shot, and we're just picking it up, and we're running the scene. I remember this now. Andrew gets in the car, and he's laughing hysterically. Like, it was so fucking funny. He goes, Bert, you kissed Stephanie off camera. I said, what? 
And he goes, you kissed Stephanie off camera. camera you, we, were, we were doing, us. yeah, when camera wasn't on us. We were doing the scene oh and I God. kissed her. And Stephanie was like, what? And I was like, it's part of the scene. And I was like, like what's the process? Acting. Acting. I was like, it's part of his process. Acting. He's Acting. a star, I'm here for it. Oh. <laughs> Got a deep layer, you yeah, I am. I'm and, a giver. And then we had and then we had one more scene where I were obviously, and I hopefully is spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the movie and you want to see it in theaters, skip over. But I come home. Yeah. And it's got to be a knock you off your feet kiss. Yeah. And Stephanie tells me, she goes, go for it. I said, what? She goes, like, try to knock me off my feet. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so. Challenge! <laughs> so, so I'm like, I'm super fucking nervous. I'm in this weird outfit. And so I go to. Oh, yeah. Were you wearing like a fanny pack or some shit? I put like a fanny parachute? pack on. I had to Pants? put a fanny pack on. Yeah, it was, I was wearing it was hot. very light sweatpants, <laughs> and, and I give her the first kiss, and then I pull Peter aside, I go, we're going to need to do a costume change. He goes, what? And I go, I need to put some underwear on. <laughs> I go, stuff's happening. He goes, what? He goes, I go, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Like, I'm, I'm I, spitting. Because, because, oh, for fuck's sake. And, Bert. Jesus, Bert Kreitzer. And Peter Intensio's like, this I'm is so up. sorry. He's alive. Here's yeah. the good news. Very much yeah. so. He's yes. alive. Oh, very much so. The best thing anyone ever said to me when I had to do any kind of like sexual content, he said, listen, before we start filming, I just want to apologize ahead of time if I get hard or if I don't. <laughs> and I was like, that's literally the best thing you could have ever said because it it put humor into yeah. it. And it was like I'm a human being, yeah. but also if you don't turn me on, like it's kind of like we still oh have God. a job to do. Yeah. yeah, which was I thought hilarious. Yeah, I, I was and so that's honest great. Yeah. that I was then able to be like, you know, in our kisses that we had both of them, I was so comfortable with them because you. You approach that whole experience, in my opinion, as just like we're gonna have fun. This yeah. is gonna be a great time for everyone. I remember. I remember. I didn't realize we were doing one of them, and I was yeah. smoking a cigar before it. And then I was like, and Oh I, yeah. And then I they're like, You guys, I seen with Stephanie. I go, Huh? And then I went up. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I just I smoked that. a cigar, and you go, My husband smokes. I'm totally fine. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, okay. And I smoked another cigar with Kale. <laughs> well, that just makes you a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it, it, it was it was so funny because I, I really just I really approached it. Because I don't know if all movies are like this, but like you two connected, and then yeah, you two connected, immediately. and immediately, then yeah. I became good friends with you. And so yeah. I could approach everything as a friend as opposed to yeah. a work thing, which was fucking thank God. Thank God I liked, you. like, I can't, I can't imagine, like, if you have bad energy with someone and you have to kiss them, and then that, and then they can, that, that would fucking yeah, creep me that's, out. Yeah, I've never been in that situation, but I've definitely been like, you know, people that you like better than others, or you connect more with some people than others that the you have to work with. I, I should start cooking a little something. Yeah. Today we are making uh, chicken piccata. Ooh, yeah. Chicken piccata from scratch. And um, I have a little treat because I brought flip sides. <laughs> I brought flip sides. This was one of the biggest talking points between her and Leanne. This is when Stephanie auditioned over Zoom. Yeah. You made the decision to eat flip sides. Yeah, I just, I, I, there was a, I don't know, I wanted to eat a cracker in the middle of the scene, and I was obsessed with these. This was the only crackers that I was eating at the time. And then you guys, I don't know why you thought it was so funny. No, Leanne goes, well, immediately, when you did the scene, because Leanne was on Zoom too, yeah. you pop off, and Leanne goes, that's, that's, that's Bert's wife. That's Bert's wife. I love that. And then, and they go, yeah, and then Leanne goes, what cracker was she eating? <laughs> and I go, I don't know. Because it looked pretty amazing. She goes, hire her and find out what cracker it is. <laughs> Well, I think what I actually said was that choice was made her look so relaxed. It made you look really, really it was what I would do. I would eat a cracker while I was And if that. I have to play you and it reminded you of it you. I did. I was like, I would totally do that. They're you know, so good. One side's pretzel, one side's cracker. Yeah. And they're so fucking good. They and are. then when you came to Serbia, you had been you were in Serbia and you bought yeah. flip sides. I literally packed like half of my suitcase <laughs> with flip sides because I was like because they're the best. They liked them. And now uh, we buy them all the time, but we can hardly and find them And then I sent you some for Christmas, you too. Did. And you had, you were sick. You had COVID. You said it was the only thing you could eat Cracker? for like a yeah, few right. days. Pretzel. That's right. Cracker pretzel. They're really fucking addictive. They're pretzel. And so I'm going to make a little, I'm going to make a little pimento cheese so we can dip it oh, in. Oh, shut up. Ooh. Does anyone, would anyone like a glass of Prosecco? Um, only if you're drinking. I'll drink. Okay, then yes. <laughs> I'll drink, too. <laughs> Okay. Sarah. Sarah. Oh, it's so Sarah. pretty. Okay, Sarah. I hope it's cold enough. It we can always put a ice cube in there. She did. Hey, Sarah. Sarah. 
Ooh, do you want one, babe? Yeah, I think I'll drink. Oh. Then I we'll keep saying to myself, I'm going to stop drinking today, and then I end up doing this show and I drink. Sorry, should I have said no to the alcohol? No, no, so that you I was stay on praying that? you said yes. You were an enabler. My goal no, is sorry, to get, shit. I need to get to a get meeting. Leanne drunk and get her to cry on the episode. Oh, cheers. So we cheers. Can cheers. Welcome, Stephanie. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so happy to see you. I adore both of you. I think you it's are. It's crazy that we both are really mutual. wonderful people. Mutual, mutual. It's crazy. Pimento cheese, super easy. Sour cream, mayo, mixed together, half and half. Pimentos, very important. Mm -hmm. And then cheddar cheese. Ooh, yeah. Went with the white cheddar, huh? I went with the white cheddar. Interesting. I know. I didn't actually went with it. Someone else went with it. Uh, Pimento cheese is typically orange. Uh, well, you'll see. It kicks in. Does Wait, do you know that what cheese? that is? I don't know what cheese that is. <laughs> Gouda. Oh, Gouda. Gouda. Okay. Gouda. Interesting. A little bit of spice. Mm. That's uh, paprika. Mm. <laughs> and a little too... <laughs> Chili? That's Old, Old Bay. Old Bay. Smoked, Old Bay. Smoked paprika. Interesting. I've never smoked tried paprika. this kind of pimento yeah. cheese before. I'm excited to try it. Are you familiar with pimento cheese? I am not, but I'm looking forward oh, to it. Oh, for real? It. It's very southern. It's I kind of, when he said pimento cheese, I kind of figured it yeah. was like a... We used to eat pimento cheese sandwiches, which is so very unhealthy. That's, yeah. And you know, you'd think yeah. you'd toast it or something. No, it's just cold. You it's know, pretty bad. my grandma used to, she used to take, so I'm Sicilian. Okay. And she would fry up a bunch of like peppers and sausages and stuff. And then she would just take a huge thick slice of bread, of Italian bread, mm. and then fry it in the grease Ooh. and put salt on it and then feed it to us. So yeah. It sounds delicious. It was so actually. good, but it's so bad for it's you. It's so bad for you. Well, this is uh, clearly a this ooh, is it's really delicious. Bad for you. It's a health food dish. Mm. All right. A little pimento cheese and a flip side. And a flip side. And a flip side. All right. I'll tell you. It's pimento cheese. <laughs> Wait, does that mean it's good or not? It's good. I love pimento cheese, it's good. actually. We buy it every time we go to the to the lake house and just eat it exactly like this. Ooh. Is it good? Actually, yeah, I really like that. That's good. Can I cheese double dip? dip? Uh-huh. Pimento cheese. Fucking rocks. Oh, that was good. And mm -hmm. that's really easy. I could totally make that. Mm -hmm. I bet my boys would like it. Uh, mm -hmm. I wish the boys were coming out because we have uh, electric bikes that fucking haul ass. Wait, are is Ooh, your, really? Are they coming? They are. They are? They are. That and I could fun. not be more excited. I've never gotten to share a premiere with them before. Yeah. So, like, all the movies I've been in, they can't watch it. <laughs> they can't what? They can't watch. Why? <laughs> like, well, like, Wolf of Wall Street? No. Oh. I mean, then it was on Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> the first scene is like him snorting blow out of a hooker's asshole. I was like, I don't think that makes me a good parent Maybe if not. I share that with them. Mm -mm. So. That's okay. I watched, uh, I was getting ready to work out with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I watched, I watched Pumping Iron with Isla. Mm -hmm. And I go, this is going to be fine. It's just bodybuilding. And she was like. And I was explaining, this is the beginning of bodybuilding. Like, the, people didn't work out like the way they do now, back then. And he's kind of like the forerunner. He's a nine-time Olympian. And, and then immediately, Arnold goes, I love the pump. It's like calming. It's like, I get to calm twice. I come when I come, and I come when I get the pump. And I was like, the fuck? Who is this guy? <laughs> Who is he's the biggest action star that's ever, we've ever had. And a former governor of this beautiful state. He, you know. He, <laughs> I, I can't, I talk about him he's as He's very nausea. charming. He, he I delivers. Bet he delivers. He delivers. Very charming. Yeah. What's, very the, what's the Nero like? Is he deliver? He's just kind of like really relaxed and chill and very, very nice. But he's not a guy who's going to like jump in and have like a really great conversation with you unless he knows you really well. Right. This is awesome. That's that awesome. is awesome. Yeah, I like, I keep saying this as a joke, but I'm, I'm being serious. Like, I would love to, I would love to just embrace this, the movie stardom and be the guy, like I would love that role in Hollywood, to be like the guy that goes... I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be loud. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. When I, when you see me, I'll give you your moment. I have to tell you, when I was prepping to be you, yeah, I I spent so much of my time thinking about what is it like to be married to a man who goes on stage and his family is his is his material and his family the truthful stories about his life and the people in his life. Like, how would that? I don't know what effect would that have on a marriage. What effect would that have on a, you know? It's uh, it's it's crazy. And what did you conclude? You know what's funny is I. Cause you got a little bit of it. 
Like once Did you're I? once you're involved with me, there's no like all of a sudden there's no secrets. That is true. Yes, you you are very. What you see is what you get. You are very you constantly. There's I live no... I live very out loud, and I and I don't I don't uh, I don't behave with shame, and I won't carry shame. Oh, so I like love I, that. I go I go. I go, if we did something, I hope you're cool with the world knowing it. That's cool because then you, there's a certain level of authenticity you're living with completely because that's not true of everybody, I can say. It's those people of, that of get caught. authenticity? Yeah, yeah, just in general, I feel like it's, it's pretty hard to just sort of be like, here's who I am, I make no apologies and this are, these are my thoughts on things, you know? The thing about his public display of our family is I feel like it normalizes everybody, you know? If, yes. If he's talking about having sex with me and how, you know, he has this one joke based on a true story. <laughs> you should probably not pound what she tells where you. I, I like, I like <laughs> farted in a very intimate moment and During I got so embarrassed, I started crying in the moment because oh. I went, you're gonna talk about this on stage, aren't you? Oh, no, and he no. totally did. And, and then murdered. And murdered. I was like, you know what the point of that is? That's happened to almost everybody. Which is why people are laughing. Exactly. Like 80% of them are laughing because they recognize some truth in it. Exactly. And then you go, yeah. if you can make somebody who is so mortified feel better about that one moment or something similar, then yes. isn't that what comedy is supposed to do? And why would I stop that? That's what art is supposed to it's do. I'll take it, to take it past comedy right. straight to like, isn't that the whole point? Isn't that the whole point? I think the same thing. And aren't we all I just human? About, exactly. The way I talk about Leanne, like I, I joke a lot about her. I, I joke about her. Or the way I talk about the girls, <laughs> I go, I don't trust someone. I don't trust someone who, the best parents were the dads and my dads and moms who were like, oh, oh, fuck not here. Good luck with this one. You know, like that's the way they talked about their kids. Yeah. Those are the ones because then it made me like the kid more. And I trusted the parents. When you, when you meet a parent, it's like, oh, my son's a star. Top of the clap. This kid, he's going big places. I, and they, they celebrate the kids like that. I go, I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem authentic. Yeah, because then they have to live up to some mythology of like, my dad loves me because I'm a track star or yes. whatever, you know? So okay, give me one second just... while I pound this out. <laughs> That's what he said. I was just thinking, oh, repeat performance from this morning. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, hey! Is he just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean for you, for yourself, you know. Yeah, yeah, just no, saying. I get it, I get it. <laughs> I do remember though when, so when I was trying to figure out what would it be like to be married to someone like that, the minute I met him, and started to understand who he was, which was pretty quickly because, like I said, what you see is what you get. Yes. I I, I felt like I, I stopped thinking about it. Oh, God, because you got it? Yeah, because I got it. I was like, it's not, um, there was no need for me to feel like playing you. Yeah. Like I had to protect something. No. Do you know what I mean? Yes, and then I see, do. once I met you and yeah. saw you guys in action, I was like, oh, I was right. That's. There's just a free flow of communication and truth between you guys. It's, yeah. I think, really fucking admirable. Can I tell you well, what's interesting? You. Can I tell you yeah. what's really interesting? Truly. No secrets. Is adversely, Eva, who grew up in, in Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. I was, it, was, it took her a long time to figure out a guy like me. She was very confused by me. She was I very confused this. by me. <laughs> yes. And she did not get it. And she, I could see her staring at me at times, like going like, and I was like, because I think that, they don't make men like me in, in... Well, you're not very European. <laughs> um, so I've beaten the chicken. Yes. Very simple. What I do on this, I'm going to let this get ready. I, 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 I kind of want it all to come out around the same time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to get the pasta ready. I've salted the water. Not perfectly, but I have. Um, we, I think we got angel hair pasta. Ooh, I love angel hair. Do you remember when you discovered angel hair pasta and you're like, yo, mom, the fuck have I mean? Oh, you're Italian. I'm Italian, but we never, we only ever ate um, penne or like mustacholi or whatever. It was never, we very rarely ate spaghetti, which is weird, right? Huh. Or some version Must be of regional. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's a yeah. regional thing. Angel hair goes in pretty quick, so I think I'm going to just put it in. It doesn't cook for very long. Oh, God. But you haven't started cooking. Okay. I, I haven't started cooking. This. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the angel hair. I should have done this last. Yeah, dirt. I should have done this last. If you could do one thing, because you you're not like, you don't do the internet too much, right? Nope, nope. You are a you are a a trained actress. You did Billy Elliot, right? Mm-hmm. You did uh, uh, 
I did The Boy From Oz with Hugh Jackman. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. What's he like? Is he straight? You know what? Everyone asks this. He's married. You know what? Yes, he is married. And I will tell you this. Without, I mean, I don't, do I truly know? But I can tell you this. The connection that he has with his wife that yes. I have seen firsthand reminds me very much of this connection. Really? Yeah. They are best friends. That's and awesome. his wife's older too. <gasps> you know. <sighs> I'm four years. years older than Josh. Are you really? Are you serious? Yes, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Oh, kid riddle rubbin. <laughs> I was Cradle K Robin. K Radle Robin too. K Radle. Didn't he pursue you like crazy? Like to hear him tell it, you were like he met you, you were the one and it was I, I knew her four times before she met me. I don't remember <laughs> meeting him the first two times. Cool. And then the third time we met we were uh bowling. My writing Aww. partner and his roommate uh, my writing partner and his roommate dated, but she was they were not in a relationship at the moment. Uh-huh. So she we, we organized two teams, a couples team and a singles team. And Bert and I were on the singles team. And when you'll love the, have you heard this story before? Uh-uh. Okay, this is a, kind of a funny story. So we had so much fun bowling on the, ceiling, the singles team, so much fun. I knew his roommate, I was friends with his roommate. And at the end of the night, I said to his roommate, he was super fun, give him my phone number and have him call me, uh, we can go out sometime. Nice. So like five days go by, I haven't heard from him. And I was like, what is happening? So I called his roommate and went, hey, did you give him my phone number? And he goes, yeah. And I went, well, why, why didn't he call me? He goes, ask him yourself and hands Bert the phone. And I go, dude, I'm a cute girl. Why didn't you call me? You've like met me three times. Yeah. What's going on? Why you call me? And he goes, uh, 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 uh. And I, I said, um, here's a hint. Suave. If you ask me out on a date, I will say yes. And he goes, do you want to go on a date? And I went, yes. Aww. He was like, how about Thursday? I was like, okay. She so set then, you up. She, um, she was like, well, I thought she was a whore. You could sp well, you don't know the rest of the story. So he hangs the phone up and he turns to his roommate and he goes, she just wants me for my body. I was in, I looked beautiful. Though. My fucking kingdom for the confidence of a man. Right? My fucking kingdom. Right? She just wants me for my body. So <clears throat> I obviously don't know this. So. Thursday comes around, he goes to pick me up for a date, and I'm dressed for a date. I'm in a dress and heels, and we're going out on a date. Yeah. He doesn't even come to my door. He pulls up to the apartment building and honks No, the you horse. didn't. <laughs> beep, beep, and I'm picking him up. Let him play beep, with the dick beep. in the trunk. So I got on my balcony, and I go. Beep, beep, and I'm picking him up. Let him play with the dick in the trunk. <laughs> so I go up. All right, well, no. I mean, you know, I guess I'm walking down. So I walked down to the date, and when I come out the door, this is what he said. He was like, I was in a dress and heels, and he was like, oh shit, this is like a fucking date. He so you thought you were just gonna, fuck. yeah, you thought you were just gonna hook up with this hot chick. No, 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 I thought she wanted to fuck me. I was like, that's what, I had seen too many Did episodes you wash of your Sex balls? in the City. Oh, I was clean. Okay. I had shaved balls and just a shaved a chest back he, was, he definitely thought he you were just hooking up then. If he yeah. shaved everything and, and freshened up, he was ready to just was, like yeah. hit it. And I was. It. He was pretty confident that I was <laughs> I there I've for the I've never nookie. in my life felt that confident Ever. about anything. So, so we go on this date. And he, he had asked his roommate for a recommendation for a restaurant. And his roommate apparently, I think, might have had a crush on me. Uh -huh. So he sent us to a restaurant that was all gay men, <laughs> which I think he thought was really funny. But what happened when we sat down is that Bert then could no longer tolerate his shoes because he was so nervous because we were on a date. Oh my so he God. took his shoes off. He also could not eat. So he ordered a meal and did not touch it. And then when the meal I mean, was, I mean that's so fucking charming. It was though. adorable. And then when the meal was over, he was like, "Let's go get a drink." So we go to a bar to get a drink. I'm yeah, like, "Great!" Shocking bar to that story. No <laughs> way. Bert wanted to go get a drink. I know, right? So we go to get a drink. And drinks over, and he goes, "Let's go pick up a six pack and go back to your place." And I was like, "Okay." So we pick up a six pack and go back to his. This place. This is gonna explain a lot about why I was so nervous to kiss you because I'm not. At first kisses fucking scare the shit. Out he was of me. prolonging it. Like he didn't want the date to end, so he oh, didn't have to oh do that. Oh my god, that's so cute. So I, we go back to my place, we have a six pack, and I'm like, you know, oh, <laughs> you know, 2 a.m. might be time to go. Couldn't get rid of him. Oh my god. He leaves 9 a.m. the next day. What are you doing tonight? Next day, 9 a.m. What are you doing tonight? Next day, 9 a.m. What are you doing tonight? And I thought, okay, this guy is not a gamer. He doesn't no, know no, you how got, to you play got, a game. You got no game. You got no game. Texting her fucking 9 a.m. What are you doing tonight? 
No, it was in in text. It was before. Oh yes, I it forgot. Was, we're old as fuck. We're old as fuck. I forgot we're old as fuck. It was an actual phone call. What are you doing? And you know what happens for me is I believe in like signs from the universe mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. I memorized his phone number the first time he told me. I knew it the first time he told me. I still don't know my children's cell phone no, numbers. That, the first time he told me his cell phone, I remembered it. And then oh. I was sitting with him, and, and I was actually dating someone else. Just so she you was know. a whore. Turns I out was. Right. <laughs> I was keeping my options open, okay? Because what I said to myself was, I'm not marrying a comic. I'll date him for a couple months, and then we'll be friends forever. He and I are going to be right, best right, friends right, forever. Right, right, but right. I'm not marrying a comic. No way. You were half right. I was half right. After two weeks, I was like, hmm. I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud, but I think this is actually what I've been looking for. I've been dating, like, a little bit buttoned up, a little bit good-looking, kind of slicker guy. Do you hear the way no, she no, just no, slipped no, no, back? No, 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 no. Guy, one guy rode up a Range Rover. Oh. Yeah, like that. Like you were looking that. for, you thought you were looking for, like, the stable. Yes. Established exactly. career guy. And I didn't realize what was happening because I was getting so bored with those guys. Yeah, because they're I'd boring. cycle through them. Yeah, exactly, 100%. <laughs> but they were stable. You're right. They mm-hmm. looked, on paper, they made right. a lot of sense. Yeah, they took all the boxes. Yeah. Totally. And so about two weeks after the, what are you doing, he actually said, what are you doing this noche? Noche? What are you doing this I noche? I spice it up. You know, I want to keep her guessing. I Let love. him have a little international. <laughs> you look so international. <laughs> What are you doing this no trip? Did he put on his Scandinavian glasses and come to your next date? <laughs> he might be lucky he didn't do that. Because I might have been like, what? I recognize Florida man. I love, though, that you guys, like, weren't expecting each other. Neither of you oh, were expecting no. each other. I thought blonde hair, big tits, tan as fuck, long legs, volleyball. Florida. Just said this Florida. in a press junket. This, he did press junket this week. I said, this is a compliment. Oh. I said what I... What, what I thought about uh-uh. when, when when I got Leanne <laughs> naked careful. for the first time. <laughs> Be careful. Easy time. I said, I said, I said, I've never experienced this. This is like a secret. I feel like I'm looking at a secret. Like, I don't. Because I don't dress like, like. Because you were seeing a, like a real woman, real woman not, naked. Not, a real woman like, naked. And I was like, uh-huh. oh, I feel like I'm getting told a secret. And I was like, oh, this is sexy. I actually think that's really sweet. It is really it's sweet. It's like incredibly sweet. It came sweet. out very awkward, but I think what he meant was... Mark was uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> because the guy said, what would you go back and tell your 20-year-old oh, self? He said, I would say, oh, date the brunette. On. And I was like, uh... He said, like, date the brunette that has a surprise body. And I was like... A I surprise body? That's what I said. She's got a hump. She's got a... <laughs> Third arm. Like you well, everyone contact. waits. 16 nipples. Right? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Everyone waits for their like, their like, their like dream guy to show up on a horse. Right, right, and right, 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 right. the guy's just a comic who has an escalade. Who's a great human being. A hundred percent. Who's a great human being. I tell, I tell my boys all the time, I don't even know if this is appropriate to say, but I'm going to say it because it's around you guys. Being the mother to a 13 and a 15 year old boy. I talk to them all the time about, look, you're gonna masturbate, it's, gonna, it's totally natural, it's normal. You're also gonna be interested in looking at pictures. I was like, but here's the deal. I don't want you on the internet because above and beyond the fact that you could be supporting fucking human trafficking or something, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You don't know what you're doing. You're also not getting a true version of what a woman looks like. Right, totally. You're, and I don't want you looking for that mm-hmm. in your life because that's not what real people look like. No. And you need to be able to yeah. recognize. It's totally true. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, that's interesting you say that because as a kid, all, my dad had uh, subscribed to Playboy. Yeah. And all the neighborhood kids would like sneak to see and his. look at the Playboy. The Playboy of the 70s looks like real women. Yeah, yeah. And then at a certain point, it all changed where everything's augmented in some yeah, fashion. Yeah, and the boobs are bigger. Yeah, and the something, and you go, well, that's not. But what my perception of what a beautiful woman looked like naked was from the 1970s versions of Playboy, which is, I think, is far healthier. I agree. You know? Yeah. We're all curious, what does a grown woman look like? Naked, yeah. you know? Well, there's, a, there's Not that I had a lot of mystery. My mom walked around naked all the time. Was she a nudist? No. Just she a little just, kooky. She's just a little interesting. It was too hot in the south to clean the house with clothes on. I love this. So she would vacuum naked. You know, things are actually making more sense to me about you now. <laughs> so you see why I have no problem here? Yeah. This podcast is brought to you by Omaha Steaks, man. This weekend, this weekend, I had Leanne's family over. 
my family over, and my buddy Mike Calta, Cowhead from Tampa. And we were like, yo, what do we want to eat? And Leanne's like, do we have any Omaha steaks, man? It is such a good feeling to know that you're stocked in your freezer with Omaha steaks. I went in. I pulled out uh, a bunch of fillets. God, the fillets are perfect. Literally, I'm telling you, one fillet is good for one person. But what I do is I grill them all up. I then slice them. And then people grab a piece. Of, their fillets are so damn tender. Look, with Father's Day right around the corner, what do you give the man who has everything? Well, the Father's Day experts at Omaha Steak have made it easy to put a smile on the big guy's face this summer with hand-selected packages. Head over to omahasteaks.com, use promo code BIRD at checkout, and get $30 off your qualifying order. Packages can include fork tender, bacon wrap, filet mignons. Those are really great. Those are really great. Or other gourmet grillables like air-chilled boneless chicken breasts, awesome. Burgers, great. Jumbo Franks, arguably the best Jumbo Frank you'll ever have in your entire life, and I'm not fucking around when I say that. I'm being dead serious. Their Franks are, like, amazing. And don't forget to save room for dessert, man. Leanne pulled out at the end of the night. She goes, it was such a gangster move. She goes, I'm going to make caramel apple tartlets because – most gift packages come with four delicious caramel apple tartlets, and we have tons of them. We bought a bunch of gift packets. God, I'm getting hungry just talking about this. Also, check out the other hand-selected packages that are guaranteed to make Dad's day. Because if there's one thing we know, is that Dad wants steaks. I'm telling you right now, go to Omaha Steaks. Buy them the package. They're nice to have in your freezer. You're going to eat them right away, but they're nice to have. Just We load up. We load up. We just loaded up again. We, we got... Oh, man, we got everything. We got, even got pork chops. We got pork chops, franks, burgers, chicken, fillets, uh, everything. Whether he's your father, father-in-law, or father figure, he's the guy who was always ready to step up when you needed him the most. This Father's Day, show him the love with the only gift that's un- as unforgettable as he is, the mouth-watering perfection of Omaha Steaks. From perfectly aged, oh-so-tender steaks to hand-selected gift packages, Omaha Steaks makes it easy to give dad what he really wants. Order today and get $30 off with promo code BERT. And every purchase is backed by their unconditional money-back guarantee. Minimum orders may be required. See site for details. What you did for this woman for Mother's Day. Ah, right? You wrote, this is my favorite thing you've ever done on the internet. Literally ever done ever. It's a literally the most beautiful. Aww. I started sobbing the minute you started. I was like, Whoa. Uh, I was. A, it was an intense moment. I still. Were I, you missing her real bad? Really bad. You know what happened? I've been totally fine since she left. Really? really? Like she's launched. She's happy. She's found her people. She's passing her classes. She's got a social group. She's she's doing everything you're supposed to do. I'm so proud. I'm so happy. And then Mother's Day started rolling around, and I started going, oh. Hold on. She's the reason I have Mother's Day. No. And she's been at every single Mother's Day. And I would get teary-eyed. Ooh, she's been at every not, single Mother's Day is the thing that got you just got me. Oh. And I went, this is the first Mother's Day. I, okay, this is bad. And here's the other part of it. Georgia took Mother's Day so seriously every oh year. My God. Oh, did she? She would really? get up, she would make a tray for me, and she would make me breakfast, and I would come in like, fuck, <laughs> I gotta get up. Here's some berries. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. She would, and lay in I the bed and go back to sleep. Like, a bowl of fucking berries. Berries every and year. Georgia, like, oh, berries. Georgia at fucking five is up on a fuck on her little stool. Cause he's Daddy, never home. help me make her eggs. Or yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't home for a, a lot, lot of them. He's Georgia not home. Was like, she did. Yeah, of course. So I was oh, like, this is the God. first year I'm gonna be like, here's uh-uh. your bowl of berries. Good night. <laughs> you know. And I was like, it sucks for me. I don't like that. Yeah. So I kept saying to Isla, hey, you gotta step up your game. Like I can't just. Good have for you for setting the expectation. Bowl of and I've never been one that's like Mother's Day. You better bring it. Georgia just brought it anyway. So I didn't realize that it mattered until I wasn't going to get it. And so I was I was really genuinely you were struggling. You feeling the loss of her for the first time. For the time. first time. It was really hard. What's so great is I started talking about it to my friends. And I work out with my friend Sandy three days a week. And on Friday, that same day, uh, we were all talking about what are you doing for Mother's Day? You know, what's the trainer doing? What's Sandy doing? 
And I said, I'm not really sure. And I started getting really teary on the Aww. treadmill going, I just miss Georgia. I'm really sad. Sandy knew she was coming. So Sandy just kept pedaling on her recumbent bike, <laughs> staring out like, Keeping her mouth shut. <laughs> and so I had just really expressed how I felt that morning. And then Aww. when she walked in the door, it just, my brain went, is that an imposter? Oh my God, it's Georgia. It took me a minute to really figure out what was happening. It's just... It was really sweet. And you know what Georgia did? Is she came home and she was my shadow the whole weekend. Like she came home to be with me, not to go say, my friend Sophia's home from college. I'm gonna right, go Right, I'm back. gonna go hang out. No, 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 she stayed with me. What do you wanna do? Wanna go to the movies? Wanna watch some on TV? Let's watch a movie. And she sat with me right next oh to me God, on the couch. This is like, this is all I could ever want. Sure. It was crazy. So yeah, Mother's Day was pretty special. And then uh, here's the kicker hmm. that no one even knows about. This might make me cry right now. Um, I, I am, um, I know, right? <laughs> Keep drinking. I am, I am sleep divorced from my husband in that he snores so badly I cannot sleep. Oh. So I sleep oh. in another room. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we have a house guest right now. So I sleep in George's bed when we have oh. a house guest. Should I not say this? No, this is perfect. Oh, okay. oh, this is... This is, this is, I'm turning this off. This is the child she raised, not me. She well, raised. it's a little bit of both. What? Go ahead and tell her. So I go upstairs to get in bed, in Georgia's bed Tuesday night, and there's a handwritten note there, right, from Georgia. And it mm -hmm. says something like this. Hi, Mom, I know you're sleeping in my bed. And I just want you to know, it makes me feel so loved that you sleep in my bed while I'm at college. Um, coming home and seeing you cry when I walked in the door is now a core memory. Oh, come on. Oh, and come on. <laughs> it's one of the most important moments of my life. I <laughs> wanted you to know that I always say to her, from the time she was born, I always say she gave me my heart and Isla gave me myself because Isla's so much like me. I learned mm. to love myself by watching oh, Isla. stop it. <laughs> but Georgia gave me my heart. I've said that to Georgia her whole life. Right. So the end of the letter says, I know I gave you your heart, mm. but you showed me how to use mine. I love you so much, Georgia. And I was like, fucking A, kill me 5,000 times. Who is this Do you this want to hear the part that's going to really make you being. cry? What? I paid for the ticket and I didn't get a letter. <laughs> I get a fucking letter. I get a fucking nod or an email or a text. Not even an emoji of like thumbs up, Dad. That is the most important part. Oh my god! Like I just was like, who is this? Who is this person? Uh, the person that you guys oh, raise. It is that we raise because she's very, very much like her dad. No. Well. Yes, yeah, she is. She I mean, is. She is. Very, she is. I don't she is. know the like girls so well, but I mean, they're both. They both have the same sort of um, confident, I don't know, maybe it's a sense sense of humor. The, the couple times I've met them, they just There's move fucking, through the... Fucking Isla. This is... Isla gives me Mother's Day and she goes, I don't cry because I don't cry. <laughs> and I went, okay, 10-4, baby. Love you Damn, too. girl. Okay. <laughs> and I like it. This I... Lovely. But that's... Totally who I am until I was probably 30. It was like, yeah, oh, I, don't, I don't fucking really? cry. Oh, yeah. really? Mm. I, I get her game. But she was like, mm. here's the backpack that was stolen in San Francisco that I've just replaced it, but I'm not crying. You know, you get weird kids that are a mix of you. Yeah, and then something else altogether uh -huh. of their own. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting. Parenthood is, has been really interesting to me. It's, I've learned so much about myself oh have you i literally just said that this morning okay. i was like especially you know so many things that i've bumped up against and i've been so self-congratulatory at times with my parenting i'm fucking nailing it yeah right do you know what i mean yes i do <laughs> and and just when i'm starting to like settle into that like they'll throw me a curveball and i in fact something just recently like i bumped up against Shit, I didn't even know I was carrying. Those boys like reveal shit to me constantly. Oh, yeah. Isn't it crazy? And it is yeah, and crazy. it's also not fun sometimes. Sometimes to be it's really not fun, but it is it is the most amazing relationship ever.
That looks delicious. The it does. The chicken. He's a very good cook. Yeah, yeah. Has he ever cooked for you before? I don't know if he's I cooked don't think so. Yet. I don't remember. Chicken. We ordered a lot of takeout. <laughs> yeah. Of takeout. Yeah, I think that's probably accurate. <laughs> that's beautiful. Looks amazing. I mean. Do you love to cook? I do. You know what? I, I'll tell you what I love. I love making people happy. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's the, it's like my favorite thing in the world is when someone gets happy about something. <clears throat> I think it's why I'm in stand-up. I know I know it's why I'm in stand-up. But, uh. I like making people happy. I like, uh, like you know, it's funny. Tom Segura is my uh, my my best friend, and he knows that about me. And he said, you know, it's funny because he likes making people happy. Like he, he doesn't show it a lot because he's dead inside, but <laughs> he he enjoys making people happy. And so he what he does he does cool things for people. And I never understood doing cool things for people, like. Uh, I, I like making dinner for you or, or having you drinks with you and, and, and like making you laugh and, right. and having a good time. He was the one that introduced me to spending a little more money to make sure everyone was happy. So what he does is really cool. He flies friends that he grew up with out to meet them up with them on the road. And then he t puts them in a nice hotel. They're on the tour bus with them. They fly on private jets. That's and then they, really, and they get, sweet. it's that's really cool. cool. Right, Thanks, babe. I, I well, almost. So good. Thank you. I, I, I hope it doesn't Oh, look at salt. these knives. Yeah, these are awesome knives. Let's see how sharp it is. They're I'm so kidding. fucking, no, they're okay. so fucking sharp. So, <clears throat> chicken, what was it? What did I make today? Piccata. Chicken piccata. Chicken piccata. Let's chicken try. Piccata. I can't wait. Let's, let's try. All right. This knife is sharp. Yeah, it is. I'm, yeah. If I had known that, I fork. probably wouldn't have made that joke. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's Ooh. really good. Mm. That, a note. Mm -hmm. That's mm. fucking, that's really good. Delish. That's really good. Ooh. That's really fucking okay, good. Pasta. Yeah, pasta. That. That's really fucking good. That's yummy. Thanks, did you babe. put lemon in there? Yeah. No. Yeah. I think I did. Is lemon in there? Lemon's in there. <laughs> really good. It's that delicious. That is really fucking good. Holy shit. I like how you put the pasta in the that stuff. Was a, that was a game time decision, Leanne. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. I was didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't know how to get it on there, and I had already had the chickens in there, and so I saw it. I thought, what if I dredge it? Oh, really good. Mm. God, Are you not eating the rest? Those no, papers. no. I'm just... The oh capers gosh, are good. The capers mm. fucking rock. I love capers. I love capers. I think my knife is cutting my fork. <laughs> it's really, it's really sharp. sharp. Oh man, that's good. Mm. It is really good. I love angel hair pasta. Mm -hmm. How's your face? Did you burn yourself? I don't think so. How's it look? Yeah, it looks good. It looks okay. One time, Leanne, I'm allergic to gerbils. And, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to ask how you found that out. Or hamsters. <laughs> and hamsters. <laughs> Oh. And Leanne had been playing with a hamster. Oh yeah, this. And I got in the car. Well, I had been I... playing. Here's how. Here's how allergic he is. Yeah. I lived preschool. Had, their classroom pet was a hamster, so we as as parents had to take turns taking care of the hamster, right? Oh, like, I remember yeah. those days. Yeah. Then I cleaned the hamster cage, knowing he was allergic. Went in the bathroom, washed my hands fully. Mm hmm Got in the car, drove home. I get out. He gets in the car. Puts his hand on the steering wheel. Starts driving, and the inside of his eyeball starts swelling up oh, over his eye. Oh, God. And his tears start going, and they're burning, literally burning streaks down his face. I washed my freaking hands, and that happened. That's it like EpiPen shit. You it need, like, was crazy. The tears the have, have burned lines Ooh. over her face. They did. Damn. That's and like, as a hypochondriac, I was so happy. God. Because so often... You tell someone something's happening to you, and you're and you are over exaggerating. Right, right, right. And when I got home, Liam was like, "Holy fuck, you weren't lying." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I know, I'm sick." That's or a really one. intense allergy. That was crazy. I wonder what happened to Richard Gere. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly not allergic. <laughs> he's not allergic. Do you think? Okay, so like, like, is, he's not allergic. Do you, that's a great fucking premise. Do you think? Because like, there are rumors that go out about you online that you can't stop, and you just go, bro. As, Bro. Why? What happened? I was shooting something two weeks ago with Timothy Chalamet. Uh-huh. There was a small accident with the camera. The camera blew past its point and smashed him in the chest. Yeah. Right? I, heard, I, heard I was right that. next to him. I, like, grabbed him. I held on to him. It went, like, I'm talking 100 million views on TikTok viral. 103 million views. Really? Everyone was like, 
I think that woman pushed him into the camera. Oh my god, are you kidding? No, I'm dead serious. Oh my god. Uh, you deal with this shit all the time. You know yeah. I'm not an internet person. Yeah. You, I remember you saying to me one time, you're like, how come whenever you post something on Instagram, everyone's like, good job, Steph, you're great. They're never like, shut up, you fat fuck. <laughs> and Did you like, fuck dogs? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah, and so, yeah. But I've never experienced what you must experience on the regular, which is this culture where people just make shit well, up. And it, but it's, but it, here's the deal. Here, and this is what I was thinking of, is it's, I don't think they think, I don't think they realize how it affects the person yeah, at all. No. And I really, I, no, I honestly think they go, it's a joke. It's I'm a fucking, platform. Yeah, right. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm trying to get views. He gets it. Because, because we just made a joke about Richard from Gear. And I ever wonder if he was like, do people in my kid's school think I fuck hamsters? Right. <laughs> like they think, like they, my kid, like there's a hamster in my kid's first grade and they won't let us take care of it for the weekend and my kid's devastated. Because... <laughs> They think I'm gonna shove it up my asshole. Oh my god! And how did that start? Who has the hamster this week? I know, right? Johnny. G no, <laughs> no, no, no. Pass, pass. Really, how did that kids? start? I don't know. I don't know. He's amazing. He never put a hamster. Like this is so no ridiculous. Way. They had the right? pub Rod Stewart stomach full of uh, out of one pound of cum was in his stomach. <laughs> I remember, I remember that hearing one. that one. <laughs> and then what? you hear deep, low, like down low ones, like what? Richard Gere has three, three kids. kids. Three and he's three probably and his a poor great fucking dad. kids probably went to fucking school going like, can we take care of the hamster this weekend? And they're like, not in your house. We know what you guys do with hamsters. And then his kids had to deal with it. And we're making light of it. But I bet it was like a fucking thing where like one night, I get bet he had to go into his kid's room and say, listen, here's the price of celebrity. He just had a kid. He just had a kid? Yeah, like um, Bob, Katie. Bob just had a kid. Bob DeMiro. Just I had saw a baby. that. He was 79. But can, he, can he pick it up? He just had like his like seventh or eighth kid. You know what I mean? He's so God old. Can he pick the fucking kid up? But, but you hear, you hear, hang on, hang on. Really, well, really hang on, realize. You can pick something up. Apparently. <laughs> <Well, yeah. laughs> Somebody can. Gets hard. I bet, what is this? And his, he's dating someone who can give birth to children? Like not even Yeah, it was like that. his long time, it was his like long time girlfriend after he divorced Grace. Really? Mm -hmm. Actually, you're not dating anybody. You're married. Okay. Reminder. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> My, my, my smash piece over here Your smash can't piece. birth anymore. A smash piece? I choose not to birth. My smash piece is no longer a bleeder. <laughs> I give well, birth news to a, flash. I still bleed, but I'm giving birth to a ball of fucking fingers at this point. It's like, <laughs> ball of fingers? Shit's overdue. It's past his expiration. One big hair, 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 teeth, and a fingers. A tooth and a couple of fucking fingers. That's a fucking a animated series. The end of the I get pregnant. <laughs> and we give birth to a ball of hair, teeth, and fingers. And we name it Albert Charles Chrysler IV. If it's a girl, we have to name it Stephanie now. If it's a girl. Right? If it's a girl? It's not really, Ann. If it's a girl. If it's a girl. Now we get into the gender discussion. <laughs> what if it's just a vagina, a hairball of fingers? <laughs> it's from the 70s Playboy. It's exactly. a really bushy, exactly. hairy vagina. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, God. I this... plan on eating a pasta meal first thing in the uh, morning. Just eat the chicken. The chicken's delicious. God, it's so good. You just eat a few bites of pasta yeah. and mostly chicken. Mm, good call. The I chicken's am, um... delicious. I'm full. I'm really full, yeah. too. It's, it's a lot. really and fucking good. It's really this, good. This. You nailed this you right did, here. You did. Ooh, yeah. yummy. You and Wait. your cutlet, dude. What, I have one more bite. If you're a Sicilian, what's Kurt Zuba? Oh, so Kurt Zuba is... married name, right? No, so my married name is Coakley. Really? Which, yeah, Kurt Zuba is my weird maiden name, which is Polish. Um, but I am mostly Sicilian. My mom's maiden name was uh, Purcello, but Piricello. Mm -hmm. So... And that's the influence that I grew up with. Like we had Christmas was pasta and meatballs and all that stuff. So I just got stuck with the Polish last In year. Nebraska. In Nebraska. How did that get to Nebraska? When I think Nebraska, I think like Quaker. Crazy, right? Or, Wait, hold on, you think Quaker? I mean, you know, like that. <laughs> that was like more Pennsylvania, drunk, but yeah. Drunk. yeah. I know her when she gets a buzz. <laughs> You know those Omaha Quakers. Her geography gets a little confused. You know, same time as... You know, they got that litter with Mormons up there in Omaha. I need a fan. I need a fan. And it will get fucking hot. Jen! Here's what Omaha, Nebraska is famous for. Boys Town. Boys Town, yeah. So Boys Town, sidebar, no one knows what it is. It was, I think, 
the Franciscan priests? Uh, yes, Father Flanagan. Father Flanagan his name. Uh, opened a town for like wayward boys. Mm -hmm. Like and like uh, an opened a town. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, yeah, well, it it a opened big, like a school. Yeah. It was like a place where they could. <laughs> she's like, I know. I'm town. just calling it. Now you're, shit. you just said there were Quakers in fucking <laughs> Omaha. Now yeah, I'm getting grilled. I'm not the talent. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> to be fair, she said she loved Omaha when you shot Razzle Dazzle. I loved yeah. Omaha. I love she Omaha. was like, these are my people. Oh uh, like, yeah, I like, recognize. That's how we get along. They I got recognize you. Whiskey steak there that we had. The fucking food in Omaha. The steak is amazing in Omaha. The food in Omaha. The people were so nice. Everybody was yeah. lovely. Love it's a good, great place to grow up. Warren Buffett, great. very big in Omaha. So here's an interesting story. Warren Buffett. So my grandfather built this bowling alley right mm -hmm. in the center of Omaha. It was actually on the edge of Omaha when he built it, and it ended up being the center of town for many, many years. In 1960, whatever, Warren Buffett walked into my grandfather's establishment and said, I would like to know if you would like to invest in my company. Mm -hmm. $10,000. That's it. Up. My grandfather... So get the fuck out of here, $10,000, who you think you are. Do you understand? I would be like a Berkshire Hathaway. You wouldn't be here. Second generation. I would be you would making be, your movie. You would be. Right? I would be so financing your movie. Money. That's crazy. And, but, and yet? <laughs> and yet? <laughs> Grandpa said no. Well, let's and just hope that same story happens. I'm sorry With I got champagne death. everywhere. If you guys like Liquid Death, you can order it on Amazon like we do and get cases sent to your house, or you can get it at your local BevMo. Liquid death. Murder your thirst. Nicely done. I'm an investor. <laughs> I can't help it. I, and I, I fucking love liquid death. Do you ever drink liquid death? I don't think I've ever tried it. Oh, it's just real? water. It's just water. It's really it's good. Just water so what does it, it do to you? It makes you, it hydrates you. It hydrates you. It just, the, the delivery system for me is why I drink it. Because okay. I, if I drink it, I just murder it. I just kill it. Does it have electrolytes? Or no, mm -hmm. nothing. No, just water. Just water. Just water and then a recyclable can. And when they're ice cold, they're even colder than the bottled water. I like it better than a fucking, because sometimes you get plastic bottles of water that feel cheap, but they this still doesn't taste the tinny either. Like usually, no. I wouldn't drink it. Uh, I wouldn't drink water out of a can because mm -hmm. it would make me go ah. But this yeah. is good. Oh yeah, because yeah. they give you sometimes you have to spin and you're like ugh. Mm -hmm. I like I love Liquid Death. I do too. I love Liquid Death and Olipop. You ever had Olipop? No, I saw that over there. Shut too. the fuck up. Hold on. Can we do this? Because because you introduced us to Flipside. <laughs> okay. You'll Let us introduce you. What flavor should we give her? I mean, orange. Is my favorite. Orange Strawberry. Are great. Just grab a couple. Grab a couple. Olipop is so fucking good. Have an and it's also tasting. good for you. Why well, was in it? It's a probiotic. It's a probiotic drink. Make me poop. And it's low. No, no, it'll make you not have diarrhea. Okay, know, okay. I that's. I mean, I you like, know what? I was like, I don't. It's actually have a prebiotic. It, Do you know what a prebiotic is? Uh, no. Is food for the healthy bacteria in your belly. Okay. So it actually helps the healthy bacteria. So it helps the whole digestive system mm -hmm. balance. And it's low in sugar. Okay, these are the banger flavors. And it's like 45 calories. Okay, I like that because yeah. I, I don't like to drink All right, what, when you go, soda. When you go anything. soda, kid soda. When you go kid soda. By the way, this is a Cream shameless soda, plug so that good. they did not pay Cream for. Soda. They did not yeah, pay for it. this. This is how much I fucking like Olipop. Do, when you go kid soda, like, like a grape or orange. The girls love strawberry, was it strawberry vanilla? Vanilla, yeah. Um, I love grape. I love grape and I love orange. Those ones slide down my throat. Uh, I'm a big, <laughs> is, that bad? <laughs> is that bad? Sorry guys. <laughs> but uh, cream soda is right, awesome too. Leanne, do you want It's one? really good. I'm still working on yeah, that. I'm gonna leave these here. I might Alcohol. have one after. Beautiful. They're so good. They have All other right. flavors too, tons of flavors. So it's right, like cheers. a ginger ale. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. You're about to find your new favorite drink. All right, 40 calories. Wait. 40 calories. That's great. Yep. Let's talk about this movie for a minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about the movie. How is this movie different for you than other movies? Because he's never done one. Well, I, I mean, honestly, the I've been very lucky that I've had some really good experiences on films, like with good groups of people. But I can on, say without equivocation, this was the most fun and the most familial it yeah. has ever felt mm. on any project I've ever done. It was really... Ever. Well, you know, you know i got to be honest with you. I, I, I will take some credit for that because I think I bring good energy. You should take a lot. But Kale. Yeah. And, and I, Peter too, but really Kale. Because that first night we all went to dinner up at the, we went the big long table at, Andrew knows the name of it. I think it's called Lala's or something. It was at the top of the hill by my house. house. Yeah. And, uh, and I wasn't going to drink. And Kale goes, what the fuck are you doing? And I said, well, I don't want to drink. I want to be like present. And you know, I want to be really and there. He was like, and he was like, "You be you." He's like, "Exactly." He goes, "Buddy, I didn't hire that guy." I hired uh, you. 
It's a and good he goes, producer. He goes, if you show up, and he goes, I remember him saying, I can't predict if this movie's going to be good. I can't predict if it's going to be bad. But what I can tell you is, if you have a good time while you're making it, it shows up on screen. He goes, this may be the only movie you ever make in your entire life. So fucking enjoy it. Like, if you went to Hawaii once in your life, would you, would you be like, oh, but, but, but the next time, you'd be like, no, I'm here right now. And I remember you saying to me the very first day that I walked into the rehearsal studio, and we were just, it was Mark and Bert and I, and you were like, I've never done a movie before, and I'm going to make sure everybody has a great time. And you were so, I think it takes a lot of um, intelligence and a lot of generosity for someone to recognize that they're a leader. Do you know what I mean? Especially their first time around. Yeah. You were like, I'm the star of this movie. This is my story. And I recognize that I have a responsibility to make it a good experience for everyone. That was like, you fucking crushed it because that set that set the mood. Let me fill up Leanne one more no, time. No, 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 I'm we'll good. Make a toast. No, no, no. Make a toast. <laughs> a little. <laughs> um, huh. uh, that's not a little. Oh, jeez. I guess I'm not working after this. I do have to pick up Isla. I know. At some point. To pick up Isla. Um, what are um, we toasting? Hey. To my wives. <laughs> for real. For real. I'm going to get emotional. Aww. Just thank you for like, Aww. thank you because Leanne kept saying to me in the movie, don't worry, she's so good, no one's going to notice you. <laughs> <laughs> and you were fucking amazing in this movie and you were so fucking cool and, and you really helped me. Even when she left and you were still there, you and Jess. I, it means the world to me that we're still all friends. Me too. I genuinely love you. I am. Love you it is my pleasure to be in your lives. I think you guys are probably the coolest, classiest people I've Aww. come across in my professional life, and it is my honor to call you two my friends. Oh, oh my tap it again! Tap, tap, it, tap again. it again! Tap it again! Give tap her again. flowers. <laughs> Mm. Well, I didn't get to say anything in the toast, but I'm okay, wait, say, say something. I'll order another bottle. Let me get a bottle. Of no, no, no. Uh -huh. right here. Have some of mine. Here, pour me some of yours. Thank you for approaching you. playing me <laughs> with such an open mind. And you don't look like me. You're not like me, but the essence of me is what you got. And that is the biggest compliment uh -huh. you could ever give me because from the moment I met you, mm. I was fucking obsessed. I was like, this is a woman who is, as my friend described to me, she is like, a base layer of fucking horse sense covered in a thick layer of liberal icing. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Bye, and it's been my pleasure getting to know you. I love you. And I'm glad that we Same text thing. from time to time. I, I, I like too. keeping up with you. I and we've already opened the floodgates. So if you ever want to kiss, take a ride on a little bike. <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting in trouble for it. I, I'm like, it, <laughs> Leanne, you know I kiss her. That's what I do. That's a so perfect good. episode, everybody. Something's burning, go see the machine. Stephanie, I love you. Leanne, I love, Yay, you. love you. Cheers, too, everybody. Love you, Bert. Cheers. Yeah. Nice. What a great Yay. episode. Something's burning. This episode was brought to you by The Machine.